Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. Uh, another North Park beer and another variant of the Foo. Uh, this is House of Foo. I thought I reviewed this beer already, and I did not. <laughs> I love this label art, by the way. North Park is in North Park, San Diego. Fantastic neighborhood. I love North Park. It's such a rad spot. So, uh, this is, per the label, a triple dry hopped West Coast double IPA. Say that 10 times fast. 8%. Look at us getting high ABV stuff. Uh, canned same as the uh, Ice Foo, March 4th. So, we are about six weeks in the can, but it is triple dry hopped, so I'm not worried about it. Um, so this triple dry hopped with Citra 702, Mosaic, Mosaic Cryo, Mosaic Incognito. This is going to be Mosaic Heavy, and I'm here for it. Simcoe, Amarillo, and Strata CGX. Like, what a fucking hot bill, right? How are you supposed to taste all that? Probably won't be able to. Um, I have said in many North Park videos that um, Hop Foo, which this is a variant of, I guess, at a higher ABV, um, is my favorite, just standard San Diego West Coast IPA. Um, for years, it was Swami's for Pizza Port. I still love that beer, but I did a um, blind side by side of those beers and Hop Foo won. So, Hop Foo is my favorite San Diego West Coast IPA that you can regularly get. North Park releases it all the time. Um, if you've never had that beer and you like West Coast beers, that one is worth your time for sure. So, let's check this one out, shall we? This beer is a sunshiny yellow, it's a little bit darker than the. Uh, ice food that we just drank um heads dissipating quickly on this one there's like i don't know half a finger right now um not a whole lot of bubbles in the glass we're using north park glass because you guys know beer tastes better when you use that um, but i mentioned it in the last video a lot of these super um heavy hopped west coast ipas that north park does <laughs> there's not a whole lot of carb there's not a whole lot of head i i don't know i i'm guessing the science is all like the hop oils kind of messes with that i have no idea one of you guys who brews beer might be able to tell me. Smell this thing. This is earthy AF. Holy smokes. It is like, like super dark leafy greens. I'm guessing that's all the, mo like mosaic can get super dank and dank to me smells earthy and smells very like vegetal. Uh, is vegetal the right word? Maybe. This is like, dinosaur kale like type like dark dark green but it's also like this cool um like tropical fruity thing it maybe like pineapple ish but yeah that earthy I, i'm guessing because there's three different kinds of mosaic 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 cryo and mosaic incognito all of that mosaic i think is taking over and just giving this a crazy super green vegetable kind of a thing it's not off-putting to me it's just if you don't like earthy if you don't like intense like hot matter you probably won't like the way that this smells it's just crazy like this is eight percent it doesn't smell like an eight percent beer but i think ice foo had a better nose it just was much more bright and fruity this is much more like earthy dank uh green like just dark leafy greens it's taking over everything Interested to see what this tastes like. Cheers. This to me does not drink like an 8% beer. That's crazy. Just right off the get-go. And much like Ice Foo, um, good pop of bitterness on the middle of your tongue and it lingers. Love it. That's part of the reason why I have preferred West Coast IPAs and clear beers. Um, my adult drinking life over hazies. I like hazy beer, but um, most hazy beers don't give you that kind of beer aspect to it. Let's get back to this. This beer is dank. It is bitter. It is intensely hoppy still at six weeks in the can. Um, there is a cool uh, like berry note. It is pithy, grapefruit rind. Um, very pithy, very grapefruit pithy. Um, and I think that's part of like the bitterness that your tongue gets. And that little bit of uh, like tropical note that we were smelling. I think it is like pineapple. I think it's like a pineapple kind of a thing. It's not crazy, but it's there in the background. Um, crackery sweetness on the finish of this one, uh, which works well. That sweetness works well with that bitterness. 
but yeah, it's crazy that this beer is 8%. That's wild. It's not my favorite uh, hop food variant. I'm just going to say it. I think the like intense earthy part of the nose um, carries over to the flavor and it kind of takes over um, all the other like what would be awesome. Like that berry thing that you're tasting is there, but it's not, it's not faint is not the right word, but it's being taken over by that intense green like vegetable matter. This beer is super dry though. This isn't bad by any means, but it's not my favorite. Um, like of the variants. There's been a bunch of other hot food variants that I much prefer over this one. All that being said, not a bad beer, just not something that I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind over this beer. Um, there's a lot going on in it, but I think most of it gets overtaken by that crazy dark leafy green thing. Um, and I'm sure that's not everyone's favorite. If that's your jam, you fucking love this beer. You're stoked on it. So not much else to say about it. Womp womp. It's, it's not bad. It's just I was wanting to love this. It's triple dry hop. It's West Coast. The ABV is a little up there for me. <laughs> I will admit that, but um, I just wish we could have got more out of like the citra that's in here and the strata. I think if if they could have gotten more like citrus aspect and, and more tropical to go with all of that like intense, dank, earthy thing, um, it would have been really, really good. But it's just for me, it's uh, it's not my favorite. So that's House of Foo. We're always honest when we review beers. North Park one of my favorite breweries in all of San Diego. So it doesn't pain me to say that not all of them are hits. Sometimes they miss. This isn't like a miss by any means, but it's just, it's fine. It's whatever. It's forgettable. So uh, do you guys have this one? Let's talk about it. Maybe when it was fresher, um, it didn't have that crazy um, intense, like dark leafy green thing. Maybe uh, the citrus was much more present and the uh, tropical notes of it were more present. I don't know. It's my own fault, I guess, for drinking this at six weeks in the can. So that's it. I'm out of here. Appreciate you guys watching. See you soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade, all that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't.